Hi everyone, Tom Nickel here, Director of Product Marketing at Velostrata. Today, we're going to showcase how you can easily test applications directly in the cloud before you migrate. This gives you a real advantage in the public cloud race, letting you test and evaluate different clouds, regions, and instance types with ease, and without risk or disruption to your production systems. Let's check it out. Here we've got vCenter running, which includes our integrated Velostrata plugin. One of our VMs is running our CRM, which is what we'll be testing in the cloud today. Let's log into the actual instance quick and check out a few things. What you can see is that we've got real data contained within this VM, much like any production system would. A pie chart here on the home page, and we'll click into an account as well. Okay, let's start our testing. We'll go back to vCenter, and with just a few clicks, we'll begin our test clone operation. Like all Velostrata operations, this brings up a quick, easy wizard that walks you through setting up your test clone. Select your cloud provider and region. If you're cost sensitive, you can leverage AWS spot instances for your testing, which is built into this wizard via the pricing model dropdown here. You'll also select the instance type you want to test on. This is important because it gives you a chance to explore what virtual hardware will be ideal for this application, which will be key to things like cost projections and true performance testing and tuning before your actual migration. The last few options are for security groups and networking, and after that, we'll go ahead and click Finish. At this point, Velostrata springs into action. Our portlet appears right here in vCenter, which will update us on how our test clone is progressing. You can also see what's taking place via the Recent Tasks window. What Velostrata is doing right now is moving a clone of your on-premises VM into the cloud, which will be completely isolated from your production system. This is crucial because it means you can test without disrupting your end users and without any risk to the data contained in your production systems. It's an isolated replica designed specifically for cloud testing. The Velostrata plugin will let you know when your test clone instance is ready to log into, as well as the IP that you'll need since our production system continues to run live and uninterrupted in the background. You can even see here via the AWS console our test clone is running as you'd expect and we are ready to log in. The time it took to get this test clone running in the cloud, by the way, was a mere nine minutes, unprecedented speed as only Velostrata's technology splits the compute and storage components of an application such that workloads can begin in the cloud almost immediately while the data transmits quietly in the background. We won't go into huge detail on the technology here, but our website has some great white papers that explains it all more in our resources section. Okay, let's log in and open Sugar CRM on our test clone here, which is running in the cloud now. You can see here that the pie chart we had in our production system is still here, as is the account that we checked on earlier. In fact, we can line up the live production system with our test clone, and it's an identical match. Now, to show this data is truly isolated, let's go back to our test clone and create a new test account. We'll type in some generic information and save. Let's do a quick search on the test clone to see what pops up. Here we go, under accounts, you can see the test account that we just created. Now, if we pull up the production system though, and do the same search, you can see there's no such test account listed in our search results. Like I said, total data isolation for your testing. Let's assume now that you've spent a few hours doing performance and load testing, and you're ready to terminate this test clone. Simply go back to vCenter, right-click your on-premises VM, and using the Velostrata menu options, select Delete Clone. We'll make you type in a quick code to prevent accidental deletion, and from there, you can once again watch the progress via the Velostrata portlet or the Recent Tasks menu. If we go back to AWS quick, you'll see the Test Clone instance has already been terminated, and you can also see that our production system has remained live and uninterrupted this entire time, 
and as expected, none of the data we used in our testing has synced back to production. As we've demonstrated, Velostrata gives you a simple, fast, seamless way to do real-life cloud testing before you commit to any migration. Literally, in less than 10 minutes, you can be testing directly in the cloud. It gives you an opportunity to make sure you're identifying the right cloud vendor, the right region, and the right instance types, all of which will help you craft your ideal cloud, both in terms of performance, but also budget. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.